Reed and I will be pronouncing the sounds that are used in the CKLA K5 Unit 2 Guide on page 71. Making sure that our sounds are clear and accurate are really important in reading. Let's start with the first group of sounds, the sounds that can really be stretched and held. These sounds in alphabetical order would be The Q is almost like a KU. You hear it in words like quick, queen, quarter. Then we come to the sound This sound is not an ER of er like you hear at the end of runner. The sound is the Er sound that comes from the back of the jaw when it's pronounced, and you hear it in words like red, rose, roar, and you almost make a little round rose with your mouth when you're doing the sound properly. It comes from the back of the jaw, and it says roar. Then you have the s sound and a sh sound, and then we have two versions of the and mm sound. The first one is the th sound that you have when you put your tongue through your teeth. You're going to hear it in words like thick and thin. The next comes when you vibrate your sound and it appears in words like that and those. The next sound, then we hear the like in Wednesday and week. The next word, x, almost like a KX sound. If you hear it in the words ax and ox. And then we have ye, which is almost a YE that's in yes, yesterday, and yellow. And our final z sound. Our vowel sounds in CKLA are the short vowel sounds. We pronounce them like this. Ah, ah. I, ah, ah, in words like pat, pat, pit, pot, pot. In the last group of sounds, there's a tendency in these short or clipped or quick sounds to want to add a schwa sound to it. So we really want to pronounce bit and not buh. Keep those sounds that you're going to see in a moment as clipped and quick as possible. So these sounds will either have a short I sound after them or a breath after them. Just a reminder that it's sounds, not letter names, that make our students better readers. Letter names will be introduced in Unit 6 after the students have had ample time to memorize those sounds. And students who have trouble memorizing the sounds are just going to need more explicit instruction. So take your time and really emphasize the sounds with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Practice repetition and positive descriptive feedback is what will give the kids the confidence they need to memorize those sounds. So continue to work on reflecting on your own sound production and work with your teachers to calibrate it among your staff so that every student has strong, accurate sounds to build their foundational skills. Thank you. Welcome to our CKLA sound review video. These are the sounds pronounced in K5, Unit 2, of the CKLA program guide. We're going to do them in alphabetical order for you and remember that there are some sounds that are sustained that can really be held, there are some quick and clipped sounds, and there are also the vowel sounds that can almost be sung. So in alphabetical order, a, b, k, d, a, g, I, j, k, u,